Hey guys, welcome to you, Season 7, Episode 2 of Bones. Here we go. You're eight days late with the rent. Uh oh. Oh boy. Someone's not getting their security deposit back. She's really normal about that. Some people are born with an act for shooting, some singing. Me? An act for thinking. So is that. <laughs> You're sure I'm clear to work here. I mean, after such a kindness, I don't want to get no one in trouble on my account. Are you? to your parole officer in North Carolina. Parole officer? Officially expunged and sealed forever, so it's no problem. I can't thank you enough. Well, so he's the new intern? And oh boy. The forensic platform. Well, you're squatting. I'm worried that little guy in there is going to just drop right out. Thank you, but my uterus and cervical plug are quite healthy. Also, I'm not happy <laughs> today. It's a girl. <laughs> a girl. Excuse me? You guys are having a girl? That is so awesome. Okay, I want to just wait for a second. I had an ultrasound at the doctor's this morning. Are you pleased with the results? No. Ultrasounds are poorly pixelated and in black and white. You only like movies that are in color. I would have loved this movie. It would have been my favorite movie of all time. You know, I can't deal with this right now. We'll talk about it later. And Okay, so victim here is a female, correct? Python Regius. It appears that our slithering friend has found another warm and cozy hiding spot. Oh, God. It's very possible that the python consumed some oh, evidence, which God. means to retreat. It's not really important that we share every detail of our day. No, is this? I agree. For a moment, I thought you didn't understand. <laughs> that in conjunction with the barely discernible fusion line at the medial clavicle gives us precise age. As for injuries, cursory examination shows sharp force trauma present on the ribs, supraspinous falsa. It's all consistent with being thrown through a needle rather than tampered glass. Uh, said glass approximately six millimeters in thickness, judging by the shards protruding from the scapula. My God. Testing and whoa! Did you guys see that? Oh, God! Get it out of here! Oh, I gotta say, man, this is the best damn job ever. <laughs> I hate having issues when I'm making a video. Oh, it just drives me nuts. <laughs> so I hear Finn saved you from having a heart attack. Uh, I'll try to do her proud. Seriously? Do her proud? Yes, sir. Okay. <laughs> what exactly did you do to wind up in juvie for three years anyway? A few mistakes when I was a sprout, but now I'm as honest as the sunshine on the back of my honeybee. Why is that honest? There's a lot of food <laughs> in the teeth. Oh, wow. oh, it looks like she was eating from a trough just before she died. No one spends three years in juvie for hot wiring a tractor. Dr. Hodgins. I reckon he has a right to know. But there is something here that is as old as my cousin Bobby. <laughs> Leave me alone. I want you to use your Jedi mind powers. I like it when you call me a Jedi. Well, most kids do. Oh, hey, congratulations, by the way. I hear you're having a girl. Is there something I should know? Yeah, who the victim is. <laughs> well, I mean, She's just weird like no that. No personal effects, no. You should have talked to me before you hired him. Why? So you think that this young man, brilliant by even Dr. Brennan's standards, should be condemned forever because of some youthful indiscretions? Sometimes no. Life isn't fair. Wait, but youthful. I don't have to help the law. Oh, if it's youthful, I, I don't care. If it's not, then I care. Because you can't have somebody working on a... Investi investigation. She's not killing that snake. Uh, uh, who has? It's not ain't. It isn't. This is the Jeffersonian that official criminal background. I appreciate you're agitated. Well, everyone has to make sacrifices, Doctor Hodgins, and it's time for that python to make his. <laughs> you're growing up. However, the adults who can speak properly, we're talking about. Excuse me, <laughs> sir, but elocution was not on my application. And it doesn't seem to bother anybody else here how I talk. So I'm getting the feeling you're just doing it to make me feel bad. After all, we both speak science. And that's all that's important in here. I don't care how people talk as far as their accents. Snap. Normally don't care about no. their sentences. I do, however, find it very strange and very funny that people with accents constantly talk improperly. Hours before there's any damage that distal fails. And their accents play no role in the properness Face. of what you say. You're literally purposely removing words and letters that. when you speak. I don't I don't know why. <laughs> well, why didn't she cough it up like a normal person? 
That is one of the questions we will need to answer. Huh. <laughs> Little girl. Hodgins also mentioned that Booth wasn't there when you found out. <coughs> uh, I didn't see the importance of it. Oh boy. Put yourself in his position. Would you like to hear secondhand? I wouldn't care. <laughs> what am I trying? Victim's name was Tina Thomas. Tina Thomas. Who would want to murder Tina? Mr. Thomas, were you aware that your wife was renting an apartment? She went there for a week at a time to get her business done. So you knew what she did? Well, at first, she used to do it at the house, but, you know, it got to be too much for me. I just couldn't watch anymore. You used to watch? Well, I wanted to be supportive. Tina was so good, and what she did, I got to quit my job. She sounds very accomplished. Oh, yeah. She could dislocate her jaw. I mean, open her mouth really wide. Honestly, she could put anything in there. Was <laughs> prostitute. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, was she a competitive eater? She was a champion. Eating. A competitive eating champion. Thank you very much. We don't have any further questions. <laughs> There she is, huh? Her stage name was Tina Python Thomas. Mm. She held world records of eating hot dogs and buffalo wings. She ate 65 hot dogs in 12 minutes. You sound what? very impressed with her accomplishments. 65 hot dogs. Yes. In 12 minutes. How many did that guy eat? What's this. his name? Cool. Joey. Well, I'm bringing in the Joey. head of eating so we can talk to him about Tina. But I have a meeting with a financial advisor about a trust for our daughter. You're doing it again. What? But the reason that you wanted to attend the ultrasound was emotional. A, a meeting with a financial advisor is practical. Also, you have no money. It's not about the money. <laughs> you want me to see the world as you do so I can feel what you feel? You know me well enough to do that, right? I, I want to have intercourse. <clears throat> what? You enjoy sex at any time. This is any time. Ergo. You want sex now. It's a simple syllogism. Forget it. Let's just order. Now I'm frustrated. <laughs> <laughs> this was lodged between her upright canine and bicuspid. Yeah, I just looked in there like I knew what I was doing. It's a slipper <laughs> of human tissue and it's not hers. Oh, she Meaning bit someone. Tina may have bitten her attacker. A professional eater using their mouth as a defense mechanism. She never weighed more than 125. What? About a month ago, I was in Japan. It's impressive, but it's eating competition. It disgusts me for some reason. I don't know why. I can't watch people eat that fast. It's it just the offer. It just bothers me. <laughs> Quite impressive, but. I don't know why, it just disturbs me. I feel like he wouldn't kill her. Are you aware of all the charges brought against that boy? He oh. made some mistakes, he was 15. He has a history of violence. He's a kid! He assaulted his stepfather with a hunting knife. Do you want someone here who solves problems that way? Bruh. And it gets worse. Are you looking the after her? Found. Or are you like... I think she's just looking after her. You're a cop in a corner. What the hell do you think I'm saying? Yeah, but you're making assumptions. You're a good woman, Kim. But don't ruin your career and your reputation as Jacksonian by being stubborn. You might be right, but he was a kid. Uh, Miss Montenegro said you might have found some DNA. No. You can't do that. It's okay. I've got this one. That's so messed yeah, up. It's fine. Being around all this food while you're pregnant, that doesn't hurt. Oh, you just saw the world through my eyes, didn't you? Oh, no, it's not ours. <laughs> Who was her number one competition? Oh, 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 and the competition to simulate the same chemical response one would experience during battle, but without the actual danger. It's very pleasant. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
in this clan and get all the winnings. Mm -hmm. That's motive. <coughs> really, I asked you not to do that. <coughs> oh, God. He took an extra air because of the speed with which he ate. That coupled with the digestive process made it necessary for his body to expel the gas he produced. Where were you last Tuesday? Uh, Tuesday, uh, uh, Atlantic City. I was at the all you can eat buffets at the casinos. I go there to train sometimes. Do we assume that you weren't alone? I was there. <coughs> My name ain't Opie. Thurston. Thurston? Yeah. I'm trying to help you. I'm cooling our slimy friend at 26.1 degrees Celsius. So slow down his metabolism. Don't hey! Go. Not five minutes, it won't. Do we get out the distal phalanx? Without cutting him open? Yes, sir. See, here's a little something that I learned in my fishing hole. Many spikes <laughs> confronted by a specter of death are known to upchuck what's in their stomach contents. That way they may slither away unencumbered. And I've spooked a few serpents in my day. And why didn't you bring this up before? It might have had something to do with you treat me like a piece of scat and not want me to speak. Yeah, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, sir. Actually, sir, I believe I'm sorry must have slipped your mind. But I'm all ears now. He's getting too cold. Yes, sir. He is. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Simple as flipping a flapjack, standing on your forehead. See, that actually sounds very difficult. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Quick, what's a southern colloquialism for shock and amazement? Well, hack my legs off and call me Shorty. Well, Shorty. <laughs> Our new suspect is Brian Tobin. Looks like more than a sponsor to me. Anyway, I sent the results to Booth. I need you to run a search. Under the radar, way. Oh boy. Uh, another possible suspect? No, it's Finn. I heard that maybe he's more than just a troubled kid. Uh. And I need you to check him out. We have to go back to where we just were? Right, so you know what you should turn right at the next light, and then another right at the stop sign. <laughs> You don't like taking directions. Oh, uh, I get it. You're still walking in my shoes. Also, note how I only have one hand carelessly on the wheel. Well, that's not very cool of me. No. It's okay. I don't mind. No. Now I'm thinking about intercourse again. You were too, weren't you? <laughs> okay, so Tobin is supposed to be here, right? His company sponsors more people than just Tina. You are pathetic. What's the matter? You can't breathe? I don't care. Come on, you're pathetic. I said, hold still. Oh, it's okay. Listen, why are you stand? Phones, what are you doing? You don't just charge a suspect like that, and you're pregnant. Well, I was acting like you. I'm not pregnant. Just let me be me, all right? Just for a while. I was just helping her train. You wrecked her personal best, and on top of it, you wrecked her personal best. Sorry. <laughs> Helping her train. This fraud guy. Thought I'd be dealing with that pregnant chick who took me down. I liked her. You really don't want to go down that road, buddy. No, you really don't. The little girl she's carrying is his daughter. Oh. Uh. Dr. Brennan <laughs> works with the Jeffersonian. Ah. The murder of Tina Thomas. Your finger. We weren't fighting about that. But you admit to getting into a fight. Sure. Over money. Uh, what else? Me and my company, we had a lot invested in her. So what'd you do? Shove too much food in her mouth? Why would I risk hurting such a valuable asset? She bit me? Yeah. A lot of competitors had pieces of me in their teeth. Meeting. She brought in a lot of money for you. You must have been very angry. That would piss you off. But I wouldn't kill her. That's true. Why would he kill her? <laughs> The truth is, people always think the worst when given the choice. Well, that, that's not true. I'd like to believe that, but uh, yeah. from where I sit, <laughs> experience has been a cruel teacher. People normally take the bad news anyway, or the bad I was just fixing uh, accusations the and then like, and, uh, they go with me. it. I'll get out of here now. Finn, uh, about what I was looking at before, uh, don't worry, I'm used to it. What is 
he doing? Is he leaving? But she was a champion. I thought they never gone. She could have forced right. herself to throw up. So there has to be up. another explanation. <laughs> there is diastasis of the symphysis pubis. A very subtle widening. Tina wasn't vomiting because of the quantity of food she was consuming. She was pregnant. We, we argued about having kids. She wanted me to change my mind. You didn't want to have children. Oh, God, no. Not now. Tina was just starting to make some good money. So it's you crazy didn't to throw know? all that away for a kid. We had years for that, right? Hmm. Her husband admitted that her career was more important to him than having a baby. Surprisingly, I'm a bit horrified as well, although my career will help provide a fascinating life for our daughter. But I think you have to let Tina's husband go. What? Why? He's got motive, he's got opportunity. But he only weighs 183 pounds. So what? Based on a suggestion what from Mr. Mean? Abernathy, <laughs> Angela calculated both the mass and the acceleration the killer would need in order to throw our victim through the glass terrarium. Right. The assailant would need to Has weigh to at least 312 pounds. Okay, so we're looking for someone. So it is the who big guy. Pounds. Yes. Who was doing Mitch the? Mitch Clancy and Brian Tobin would be ideal suspects. I realized quitting was a coward's way out. It is. Please clean the distal phalanx. You recovered. Did your interest in forensics stem from a plan to murder your stepfather? Yes, ma'am, it did. Dr. Soroy mentioned that he was physically abusive to both you and your mother. He had a temper. Probably why I behaved like I did. Could never find a way to make the man go away. So, did you murder your stepfather, Mr. Abernathy? No, ma'am. I did not. What stopped you? I wrote a paper. You wrote. Postmortem dismemberment, recovery analysis. I knew no matter how careful I was, I'd never get away with killing him. At least not the all around. <laughs> I'd like to think that's true. Well, that's a good sign from above. Keep me on the straight and narrow. I've been so much talked to church since. What happened to your stepfather? Last time I saw him, I told him he was a dead man if he ever touched my mom again. Guess some bitch didn't know I was bluffing. I can imagine hmm. how it must feel to know that people are thinking that you did something like that. You must never walk out again, you hear? <laughs> there ain't gonna be no more second chances. I love John Wayne movies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Second chances there, boy. Don't you be walking out. <laughs> Dr. Hodgins. Is it Paragonimus Westermani? It's a lung fluke. The lung fluke isn't found in the US. Oh, P. You're like the little brother I never had. Much obliged, Thurston. In Japan, however, the lung fluke is endemic to 80% of their freshwater crabs. I had the victim been in Japan. No, but she knew someone who had. You said that you hadn't seen Tina in a month, correct? That's correct. My medical information is private. Not during a murder investigation. The same parasite that was found on Tina's body. And that contract that you signed with the Japanese was worthless without Tina. So that's why. We had a deal. She just flew into that thing. But all I did was give her a shove. I shoved her. <laughs> I don't want to see you wearing that baseball cap in the lab anymore. Oh, uh, yes, ma'am. I'm sorry about that. I'd rather you wore this one. Well, this will, uh, this will do just fine, man. Not bad. For a second, I was about to say she's one of those hat haters. <laughs> I've had one of one or two of those on this channel. Why are you wearing a hat inside? This case must have been difficult. Because I can't. Since my the victim business. was pregnant <laughs> and so on. There's not a I rule that says I can't wear a hat inside. Successful. I owe you an apology. An apology? Wow. Is this... Is this... She has your prominent mental protuberance. Is that a good thing? <laughs> yes. 
Right? Did you hear that? Did you hear that? You have my problem with mental protuberance. How about that, huh? Oh, she's kicking. That's... <laughs> oh, God. <clears throat> we continue with good old bones. Um... I guess we're at the time, I guess I can tell everybody. Uh, I am not going to be here in a couple of weeks. Um, season 7, episode... Is it a couple of weeks, or is it next week? Next week might be the last week. Let me set, let me look. Oh, no. Uh, Season 7, episode 10 is the last episode until I go on vacation, and I won't be here for two weeks. Um, since I'm not here, I can't make videos, therefore there are not going to be any Bones, any Criminal Minds, any Arrowverse, any, well, there might be Arrowverse because Arrowverse is having problems and, you know, we'll probably always have uh, videos to post because we're behind for Arrowverse, so that's possible. But, um... All the other ones are not, because they're all not having issues, and they're all on schedule. Um, so, no videos for Bones. And, um, yeah, I will be back, and we will continue like we never, like I never left. So, there will possibly be other videos being posted the next two weeks. You know, stuff that people have constantly been asking where they are. <laughs> the next two weeks seem like a good time to hopefully, if everything goes as planned, they get posted. Who knows? Um, but yeah, just want to let y'all know, I, of course, when we get to like 8, 9, 10, I'll be like, hey guys, next week, not gonna be here, you know, just so we don't have this constant asking me and questions and stuff. So we're getting there, we're close. We got, we got some episodes left, but episode 10, I'm out of here, I'll be back. But uh, yeah, I will see y'all next time.